Andrew <laughs> for another episode of the sagas of our adventures. Yeah. <laughs> it's been quite a ride, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a very interesting week again. It's your second week being here. Yeah. Feels like a month. Yeah. Wow. So much has happened. Truly. Yeah, we just um, just remembering that it's all about the healing. And even this show, it's like each time before we come on the show, we say, okay, this is just about the maximal healing. Whatever needs to come up, needs to come up. It was kind of interesting because this doesn't happen to me normally when I do the shows, but it's like as I was walking out my door this morning, like all of a sudden this emotion came up, like almost like tears underneath. And I'm like, I don't even know what this is all about. Like, But so much seems to seems to come up when we're together. And one, one of the interesting things is like what, what we shared today is like either I'm not feeling good and then you're feeling good or you're not feeling good and I'm feeling good. So it's like we can always support each other. So it's like we're never like, oh, God, we both feel really terrible. It's always like one of us is like, oh, it's actually OK. Yeah. <laughs> like remember what it's all about. <laughs> so we've always got each other to remember um, the purpose. And that's been that's been the beautiful thing. And I think one of the one of the main themes for me has been responsibility. And it's like in a way, you think that's a good thing being be, being responsible. But when you take on too much responsibility, even for for things that I'm not even responsible for, wow, it becomes really painful. And right now, me and Andrew have got a big project. We're, 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 do, we're doing a painting. We're doing a painting job. And so. I was I was thinking back to that because we were walking up the hill ready to go to the re- ready to start and it was like I could feel the energy was like we were going to work and then it was just like no let's just remember that, that that we're only doing this for the healing and you were like oh yeah 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 oh I'm glad you said that yeah this is all it's all about it's and not a job it's not a job <laughs> it's just about the healing of our mind okay yeah good we got the part so it's great that we actually set that purpose yeah up front. that was huge it was really really important <laughs> we're like, okay this is good we've got the we've got this up front and then when we kind of get there <laughs> and we start looking around and we're like oh <laughs> <laughs> thank Lord the purpose was out front. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> because then that responsibility started to creep in. Right away. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you were like looking at it. I mean, we weren't saying it to each other, but we were both looking at it thinking, this is a big job. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to start it. Yeah. And the funny thing is we, we've talked about it because we've both done sim- si- similar jobs in our own countries. But when you're in Mexico... I know that I know that it's a different kettle of fish, and I'm like, we don't understand all of the language. We don't know the materials they use. the The temperature is is, is different, and we don't even know whether we can get the materials that we that, that, that we're we, used that, to using. That, we, that we're used to using. Yeah. So we're sort of like looking at it, thinking, oh my god, what do we do here? And it was interesting that we weren't talking about it. <laughs> we're like, we're walking around going. <laughs> There's a lot to do here. <laughs> There's a real lot to do here. <laughs> and we're finding more and more problems. And luckily, what you said, we, we, need a, we need a professional. We need someone who's going to give us some, some guidance on this because we don't even know how to start it. Yeah, and that was actually what I found really hard for me was because this is bringing up a lot of stuff because what, what I found was back home, when I know what I'm doing, I just, I get into it and there's just a process. I just show up, it's step by step procedure and it's done. And if there's an issue, you just go right into the execution of the, of the solving of the problem. Whereas here, I just felt like so much, almost guilt or so much what you were saying about responsibility that I don't want to let anybody down because like, okay, well, they've, they've asked, you know, Andrew and Ken to take this project on or Andrew to on, you know, and you say, yes, you feel like you're supposed to do it right like that just overwhelms you gotta do it right so I, I before this job came on i went and did a bunch of research and a bunch is an understatement about how to do this and so when i showed up i'm like oh my lord this is huge this project of what we're trying to do is basically repaint um you know the, the temple because of some problems that have come up and so this has just been a journey this last week's been quite the journey for ken and i because so much stuff came up every hour of the day. <laughs> it was, and, and we just totally lost sight in the fact that this is for the healing of our minds. This process is for our healing, not for doing yeah. the correct job. And it was so hard to overlook that. Yeah. 
but it was kind of interesting in what you were saying about um, that we needed to get this professional in. And how I just saw it then is like, we were actually really asking for that help for this healing. It wasn't necessarily about him. It was like, oh my God, we really need help. Yeah. We were, the, prayer, the prayer was up front and it was like, Jesus was sort of like, okay, we've just got to walk through some of these responsibility wrongdoing. And it was really funny because um, we, got back for, we got back for lunch and I, had, and I had this big expression of all of this responsibility and how, and how I felt about the whole thing. And Andrew goes, that's exactly how I was feeling. <laughs> no one wanted to kind of admit it. We were both in like this fear, like the fear's taken over. Thinking, oh, we're going to do this. So not one person wants to mention it, but we were both feeling the same. And once we kept letting go of the thoughts, um, it starts to become a, a little bit more... Um, gentler in the mind when we can see that it's only about that yeah. because there was, a, there was a particular moment for you wasn't there where you all of a sudden you'd taken on the responsibility I was in my jo- I think you said I, I looked really joyful and you were like I'm not feeling joyful about this <laughs> <laughs> yeah there, there was definitely a lot of this back and forth actually you said it best with the tennis ball it was like okay right now I got the accountability ball and then I served it back to you and I was all of a sudden in joy and just enjoying right where I was at right in the moment and then all of a sudden Ken would just be losing it and I was just and it was really interesting because at one point I was, I felt like I'd taken on too much in my mind and Ken came over and he's like I just give me a machine I just love doing this and he's just working away I'm like thinking to myself okay if Ken can enjoy this I can definitely enjoy this so, so just so you know I really don't like working with machinery and stuff I have done it all but it doesn't really really interest me I've, I've never had like a great passion for it and you really love the tools and you're like oh let's get the tools out and you're like, oh this is amazing look what this does and I'm thinking so much but, but I was just like in this service and I was like really getting into it every time he was coming over I'm like because I realised that I was just cleaning my mind and like this is really great oh my god this is so beautiful so I was just like, so enjoying it yeah. and then I batted across the ball to responsibility to you and you're like this isn't looking good <laughs> <laughs> this is looking like a lot of work I watching this process of, of, of Mexicans working speed and, and they're using like these chisels just to work it. I'm just thinking this is going to take six yeah. months. How long do we have? Again, forgetting that, that the real depth was in there. And so I, I stepped back, you know, when the ball felt like it came back to me, I stepped back and I realized that, that there was so, I was looking at it just so differently. And when, it, when I pulled away, I realized that uh, one thing that really helped was when Ken was expressing this, uh, Jason said to him, you know, this, this was prayed upon. This is for your healing. We have this set up just for you. And it hit me like a ton of bricks. I just realized that absolutely everything that I'm doing now is for my healing. And because of that, I was able to become very present in exactly every step that I was doing, knowing that I can't get it right or wrong but it's about this joining with, with Jesus, with Ken, and this collaboration of just being together. And, and what was really helpful was having the faith or the trust that when I felt myself slipping too far or getting really agitated, Ken would be there to, to really stop it from going any further. It was actually tremendously helpful. Mm. And then of course, you know, when, when it seemed like you were getting a little edgy and a little out there, I was really <laughs> joyful, loving what I was doing and I would pull him back out. And I just love that, that collaboration of, yeah. of the sane mind, like whoever's less sane or more sane can really pull the other back out and that's what helps. Yeah, and it, and it was so funny watching the Mexican workers, how they use their tools and everything, everything very, very slow. He's been there only like 10 minutes. Next minute, he's sitting down having his lunch. And I'm thinking, <laughs> what? Are, you, are you kidding me? You just got here. <laughs> like, <laughs> and like, I remember you were telling me, and it's like, it's like work at home. Like you, you don't stop. You yeah. get there and you crack on until you're told to stop. And this guy's like, that. Oh, I'm just going to sit here and have a nice roll. I've only been here for 10 minutes. And I'm like, mate. You need to get up yeah, and get, get off get going. And The two of us are feeling this. We're not entirely <laughs> expressing this. But then, of course, once we get into a bit of our own flow and, and, and things just start to move in a bit of a process, mm. after we've washed some of this in our minds and through some expression sessions, the tremendous release of the responsibility just seemed to wash away, knowing that the people that we thought we were accountable for yeah. have given us permission to just yeah. let go. Yeah. Is so much different than actually letting go and mm. the feeling behind it. 
Yeah, because you know when, when when I'm looking at the Mexicans, they're they're, they're so relaxed in, in what they're doing. They they don't mind. They're just there. Yeah. And we're used to right. Let's get stuck in. Let's get this job done. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, we're just gonna relax into it. Just take your time. Be patient. They use very different tools than us, and we're like, oh my god, this is a complete and utter nightmare. Yeah, it's so hard to see that that it's not about the job. It's so hard yeah. to see not about efficiency, not about getting things done perfectly on time, and then what? Just so you can move to the next job to do the same thing, the same crazy pattern over and over again. And, and really, what am I here? You asked me that you know, several times, what am I here for? And it's, it is to heal my mind. And I just kept missing all the opportunities until it just switched. And now I'm, I'm loving every minute of this. But you know what, it's actually so beautiful because all these things can come up, like the resentment, like, you know, I'm resenting this guy because he's like, why aren't you working? I am, and, and then it's like in my mind, I'm going to, I'm bailing you out. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing you a favour. <laughs> this isn't the other way around. And you're sitting there eating a roll and I'm doing the work. <laughs> and then this starts like manifesting. <laughs> oh God, it's so beautiful, really. Yeah, and then you start right. taking it back. Okay, this is actually wonderful that I get to heal my resentment. I get to heal this respons r responsibility. Like for you, you had a massive clearing on this responsibility because you were, you were taking it on. But then all of a sudden something really shifted for you, didn't it? It when did. When you could see that it wasn't about the, get, the getting it done. Yeah, I mean, it, it did. Uh, I just Something that just came to my mind with what you're saying about this responsibility was also just a bit of a humorous, I thought, <laughs> example was when back home, to give you a bit of a, a, bit of a quick preempt, uh, I, I basically took 20 things that I love to do in life, love it, and then I put a job around those 20 things so that every day I wake up, I get to use you know, the sunshine truck and trailer, I get to be physically demanding, all this stuff. And I've basically, in a way, tricked myself into the ideal fake happiness is, is what, I, what I've done and what I knew I did, but I thought it would be the best way to live this life. If you're going to do it some way, you might as well be as fake happy as you can be. But I knew it would never be enough. And so coming down here, one of my favorite things to do is, is work without a shirt on. And when I woke up <laughs> two days ago, I, I, the first thought that came into my head, one of the crazy thoughts, you know, was just simply, you, if you are not allowed to work with your shirt today, you're, you're done, you're walking off this job. And then sure enough, I got into this rhythm, this role, and everything was going so well. I got everything just, you're working with me, I'm loving the tools, and all of a sudden the shirt comes off. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm playing my music, and all of a sudden Ken look comes right over. No. <laughs> Put your shirt back on. And I'm like, that mother. And I was like, what? How is this possible? Everything's just going so well. And then I thought, okay, do not, you know, don't blame Ken. Don't blame, just take it in. Take it in first. And I did. And when I took it in, I was able to get into this really deep place. And actually, my brother came to my mind because I was thinking of going like, what? And just complain and all this stuff. And then the, the thought came in. Jason saying, Andrew, are you going to leave here because you can't wear your shirt? And the thought was just so ridiculous that I just, I just know. So what was, the, what was the real reason behind something so simple that was causing me so much strife? And then it came in, and, and when I let it go, as for, after marinating with it, just the, some of the piece that came in, at uh, least... Because you, you actually said before that, you were like, oh, my God, you, your realisation was, I actually really believe by actually taking off my top is actually the joy, and the joy is not in that. The joy is in my mind. Yeah. So yeah, and, and realizing it, the only way I could walk through it was having, was having the thought that I needed to have it, then Ken tell me that I can't, <laughs> and then, then to find the peace inside somewhere. You can use a mighty yeah. companion, I just found it inside, and then to have the affirmation of spirit working with me, because mm. Lisa then came up the stairs and I just asked her, I said, can you pray into letting me know if I can work without my shirt on? She just said, you do whatever you want. <laughs> You just work in whatever joy. And the interesting thing was I worked the rest of the day with my shirt on. <laughs> it's just like, just like that. It felt like it was just healed and it just hadn't really come on. And I just thought, wow, all that energy into something so simple. And it, it actually felt like most things on this job, if you break it down, were each individualized. Mm. Each individual thing yeah. that got away from myself yeah. in this pattern. Yeah. You know, they were perfectly set up for this healing. It's like, okay, this is the next healing part. Yeah. And all of a sudden, we're back into responsibility. Then we're in resentment. Then we're into wrongdoing. Yeah. 
And that's, you know, that what I don't like about the thoughts about when spirit isn't gentle is that. It's like, mm. well, things get really nice and all of a sudden you get, it gets ripped away from you and mm. then you get shown something else you've got to heal. Mm. But the, the, <laughs> the, the beauty there is that that's what we've asked for. Mm. And I've got a exactly. mighty companion that I get to walk this, <laughs> this life with right now that pulls me out of the stink, <laughs> the mud, the quicksand, as soon as I start going down into it. It's so perfect. <laughs> it is. Yeah. And then all the stuff that I thought that, would, that I would have to bathe in, this crap that I had to bathe in for so long, mm. it just gets washed, you know, not immediately, but very quickly. Yeah, and, so and this is just last week. Like, yeah, what's, what's going to happen tomorrow, this afternoon? Yeah, this is what you noticed. You were, you were telling me that at home, like, you're doing, you're doing your mind training. We're all, we're, we're, all, we're all doing mind training. But you've noticed how much faster it's happened since being um, in the community for this time which has been just like amazing to you. Like, wow, you couldn't believe that these things can just literally flip from your mind just by joining together in this full purpose. For Whereas sure. Whereas when you're feeling like you're doing it on your own and you're praying and what, what, what's the way out and you can get into analyzing and then you're um, putting your own thoughts above it and, 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 you, and you can get even more confused. Whereas here, it's like the clarity is coming through much, much quicker for you. For sure. And, and, and to, to add to that, what, what I like about this is that when I think if I, as I was wanting to move through a spiritual path, there's all these attachments to, to making money, having material possessions, all this stuff that I just don't want to let go. But at the same time, this brings me so much joy. How do I bridge that gap? And what I've found is taking it in pieces, is taking whatever it is that I love about this journey <laughs> and maximizing it to its fullest when I can. And I'm just finding that the rest of the stuff that I, I have in my life is actually just fizzling away. It's not like it, there's an ax that's needed, that it just need to come and, and hack and slash and get rid of it all at once. That's yeah. too abrupt. Yeah. I'm just actually making decisions of working like with Ken and these projects and opening my mind to look at them. And then the rest of what was bothering me is actually just melting away <laughs> naturally. There's actually no aggressive <laughs> process in this, which is very foreign to me. Yeah, it's, this is, you know, what you're saying is just yeah. like everything's moving through a little bit faster, a little bit quicker, be quicker because the, <laughs> the other stuff's just melted away. Yeah. And this is what I have room for. I've opened up room in my heart and my mind for for really just this. Mm. And so coming here was mm. just that next logical step. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Whatever, whatever can make my mind easier yeah. to do this is, is really yeah. what I've called for. Yeah. And, and... Watching you react sometimes is <laughs> like, is that perfect mirror of my mind about how what looks like what gentle couldn't be. But then you're just like, grr, and I just big smile in my face, and then you're like, oh, that's right. This is all for my healing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's so funny. Yeah, it's like your, your, your excitement over things. I, I, I can be in this like annoyance over something. And then you're like, Are you, have you seen this tool? I want to show you this tool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is it, isn't it amazing? <laughs> Look what it can do. Look, this is going to speed things up. Yeah. And you're so joyful. And it's like, then I've completely forgotten about what was going on in my mind. It's like, it's like, it's just showing these things really don't matter what we, what we get caught up in. And then about this journey, like what really comes to my mind right now is about traveling with you in the car on the way back, okay? And, and Ken, Ken looks over to me and says, you know, I got a, I got a serious question to ask you. And I'm, okay, it must be. You know, I mean, all questions are relatively serious. I take them that way. And he says, do I come across a bit like an attitude? Do I have an attitude? And I'm like, and then I had to ask him, are you asking me seriously? Like, how do I answer that? There's like 10 different ways I can answer that. You know, I mean, I could have come out and just said, yeah, you come across like a prick. But I mean, you know, the, 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 it depends on the moment. And, and the truth is, I just said, you know, the, the, the reflection or what he comes out at is very firm and very, um, you know, right in, in my face. And for me, that's perfect. I love that. And what I love, what I'm trying to say here is what I love about this is that we can just in any moment, it's not necessarily about work or it's about this, it's actually anything that comes up for us, we can share. Mm -hmm. And then you can get, an, hopefully, like the, the most honest answer mm -hmm. you can get back to work through this stuff, to move through it. Mm -hmm. And I, I just got to say, I don't get that back home. Mm -hmm. I don't get that anywhere else. And mm -hmm. so I just, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just love it here because of that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that is so beautiful. And it kind of reminded me, like last night, we had, we had like a bit more of a sharing. And it was interesting. We were like, you were like sharing your past, and it was like I, cu I couldn't, I couldn't even see that about you. We 
took drugs, drinking and all of that business. And like, I could really see that that had like moved past. And it's like, for me, like, it's like that reflection of like, I still hold um, these reflections that I'm on this person, but then I could like see it in you and be like, no, that's really not you. But like, it was like giving me permission to let go of like this mask that I've like held on to. Like, it's not who you are any longer. You don't have to think it's like I'm being fooled by the ego that I'm that this this terrible person, but yet that's like gone away. Like I don't feel like doing crazy things anymore. But yet my mind tells me, yeah, you're still crazy. And I guess I'm seeing that in you, and I, and I, and it's beautiful for me because I just see I just see your innocence <laughs> in what you're doing. Like I don't I, I don't see any of that in this in in the stories that we've told, and they've been helpful to see. No, you're completely and utterly innocent which then helps me get in touch with my innocence. Because you totally relate to it. Mm. Yeah, that, that's really powerful. Yeah. Yeah, well. Yeah, that reflection of, of innocence is it's still a little bit new for me mm. because I attach the word innocence with weakness. Mm. And that's crazy. Yeah. Because innocence, if, when I really thought about it, I, I heard a, an explanation by David about innocence. It's so pure and so loving and so joyful. Mm. I just misconstrued the word. Yeah. But really, it's like I attached, falsely attached fear words or things to it. Yeah. But once I actually digressed and looked at it, mm. I just there's a lot of beauty behind it. Yeah. And it even feels weird explaining <laughs> things like this. It feels a little bit foreign, but I figure if I need to move through this, I got to get, I gotta get yeah. real deeply honest with it. So. Yeah, completely. Because it's like these words, we, they weren't normal words to us. Well, like, oh, you're innocent. It's like, no, these, I'm guilty. <laughs> yeah, these, these were words. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We just felt completely guilty all the time. Yeah. And that's been the, be the beautiful thing about everything that we're doing here because we can raise up that guilt because it's so surprising how actually guilty, guilty we feel over so many things or that we're doing something wrong all the time. And in a way, that's what I've loved about being in community. When I first came, I was just like, I can't believe how guilty I feel over pretty much everything. Everything. I'm, everything that I'm doing, I'm feeling, I'm feeling guilty. And it's like so like masked over. But when we're here, we have these opportunities just to keep, okay, underneath this guilt is the innocence. And yeah, wow, that's been a very strong word for me to see, really, am I, am I innocent? I love that I can see it in you. So if I'm seeing it in you, it's somewhere in me. Right. The, sim, sim, similar to you, I, I, I don't feel like I'm, <laughs> I'm innocent. <laughs> but when I see it in someone else, something starts to touch in, in, in my heart to know if I'm seeing it, then it's me too. So that, that's, what, that's what gives me the relief in it. That I know it's, it's almost like going to the gym, you're strengthening the muscles you start off doing lighter weights and over time it's, it's just going to get it's just going to get stronger each time I continue to look at it yeah. I may not be in a hundred percent yes I'm innocent <laughs> but we're just strengthening those those muscles inside of us to remember really who we are and what we're doing this for yeah I'm, I'm a little bit excited to see kind of what we're going to move through again like throughout the next week because yeah. it does actually feel like we Un unknowingly, you know, at the time, didn't realize we'd be moving through so much stuff with a, a simple project. <laughs> yeah. You know, and now it's now we're gonna have a whole new outlook yeah. every day moving into this. It's almost like, okay, well, what what's in store for us next yeah. to heal? But I feel as though even though there's there's things yet to heal, it feels almost like, okay, bring it on. Yeah. Because I've Absolutely. got you, and I've got I got every, I've got all yeah. of this to yeah. at my disposal to work through it. Yeah, I kind of like this as well because we've got this set time. You know, because you're here for only yes. a certain amount of time. So yeah. I kind of like that because it's like, okay, let's get stuck in. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Are, are we going to you know, get or get off the pot? Yeah. Like, are we going to get? Are we going to look at this or not? Yeah, exactly. And maybe you know that's not on the forefront of my mind, but it's definitely in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very exciting to see what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we're flying along. We're already. We've got minutes? five minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I wanted to, wanted to talk about what we said when we when we met up with Emmanuel. He he helped us with um, getting the paint and everything, and it was so joyful. And it's like it's so hard in Mexico to find oh. like profe pr professionals. Yeah. And then, and we, and and we. Um, we track we track down this guy and we we just had these beautiful join-ins with him and 
Yeah, some, I, I don't know, something just, all of a sudden it like, light, lightened us up, didn't it, from that responsibility, like, oh my God, how on earth are we going to find um, this help? And he came in, he was, like, he was like this guide, and it was, it was hilarious, wasn't it? Because when we were walking around the, the shop, we were speaking to the people, and they said, oh no, the boss, he doesn't come in till 11 o'clock. And we looked at our clock, it's like 10.15, yeah. and we're yeah. like, oh God, no, we've got to get back. Lo and behold, so like, he just walks right in. And then he just walks literally straight through, through the door. Oh, he's in early today. It's like, okay, perfect. And in his heart, he's, I'll, I'll come to the job, I will show you everything. And, he, and, and when he came to the job, he was like so soothing to us because we wanted, you know, we were still in the wrong. Yeah, we were we wanted in, to make he did wrong, this like, wrong. Like, come on, yeah, you tell, me show what him. He did wrong. tell me what they did wrong. What was <laughs> so beautiful about this was that he basically, again, allowed us to forgive because yeah. he outlined the perfect no-win scenario. He basically said, <laughs> with, with the climate, with everything here, with the way the concrete is, with the way the paint is, basically you're going to be stuck with having to fix this but the best thing you can do is what you're doing. Yeah. And he just basically said, "This, you're actually going overboard. <laughs> you are actually having these guys do too much." And and you know, but but at the same time, we could see that this is just the way it is. You have yeah. to accept it. Yeah. You have to because there's no apparently no better way. But the the logical yeah. mind wants to come up with a better way yeah. and then execute it so you can feel all pride <laughs> and proudful. And I'm the guy who figured this all out. But that's yeah. just not the case here. Yeah. And there was just a chance for tremendous healing. And this Emmanuel guy gave us that opportunity. Just very, very soothing, like you said. Yeah, yeah it was really good. Yeah, he was like comforting us because he goes, no, I, be I believe they've done this to their best of their ability. Yeah. Because I'm like, did he cut corners in? Was that, was that rubbed down right? Was this a, I, I'm, I'm going to find the fault in this. And he's like, no, I really do believe that they've that they done their best. And that's Jesus' way of just saying. Exactly, we're all innocent. Yeah, we're innocent. These guys, these guys did a great job, but it's still this way. And it's so hard for the mind yeah. to wrap when itself around that. Yeah. How can something not be perfect? Yeah. But then, then the beauty is that it's not perfect, and that's beautiful. Yeah. That was cool. That's true. And I think you and I both lightened up tremendously after that <laughs> meeting with him. Yeah. We were both like less on edge. <laughs> yeah. And then he knew the, correct, the, 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 the best materials to use and everything and was only happy to come back and support us. Yeah. And it was just like, I don't know, something that... that and then right after that, we talked to David and we said, you know, this is the options that we have. And David said, no, it feels good that, you know, every six months we'll just yeah. do a spot check yeah. with the new tools that yeah. we just got. You just yeah. sand it down, prime it yeah. up, paint it, which will take a lot quicker. Yeah. And then that's, that's the process. And that felt like it just, yeah. now we've been given permission to just, yeah. just that's what we get back at what we need to do. Yeah. yeah. And that's been the interesting thing is we've been on the same page on, every, on, on, on everything. Like we knew the process, you explained the process. And I was like, yep. This is how I believe the job's supposed to be done. Yeah. Can we do it here? We find a guy to help us. Okay, great. He's on exactly the same page as us. Good. Yeah. Okay. We find out more information. Yeah, it's a bit more than we expected. Okay, this is good. And then we had the confirmation of what we felt like, okay, it's going to be the patching in and continuing on doing this. And then when you get that, it's like, but I still wanted to be responsible for yeah, it. Yeah, it creeps it's in. Like, even though we, we're, we're all completely joined in it, like, yeah, this feels really good. It's like this morning that there, there was more of that release to say, no, we've, we, we have completely joined on it. But I don't know what it is about that gripping in the mind that, no, I'm responsible for this. And if this goes wrong, it goes down on my head. It's like wanting to be guilty, like wanting to slap myself or something, even though the whole circumstance has gone, you're innocent. Yeah, you, you don't need to you're worry about it. You innocent. don't need to worry about it. Yeah. So I yeah. guess you just have to rely on your mighty companions exactly. for reminding you about this. <laughs> so that's what we just got to keep doing, just keep reminding and reminding. That's what it seems like. We're just reminding each other of that. Yeah, it's still amazing how many things that I, I feel we, we walked through just in such a short time frame. And it's, I'm excited to see what, what we'll be able to share with you maybe next yeah. week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If, if that's uh, God willing. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming and saving me, Andrew. Yeah, thank you, <laughs> again, thank you for having me. Yeah, you're so welcome. <laughs> I'm very grateful. Ah, oh, thank you so much, everyone. Lots of love. <laughs> thank you very much, everybody. <laughs>